Naga Bay is the Mauer spinning coaster at Bobbyon Land. While the ride features elements you'd expect on a spinning coaster, there are some unique things about this ride that I wanted to highlight in this review. This coaster originally opened in 2011 as Diz, and it was Bobby on Land's 7th roller coaster. For the 2017 season, the coaster was incorporated into the Adventure Valley area of the park. This resulted in two changes. First, the ride was renamed Naga Bay, and to be honest, this name has always sounded more like a themed area to me than a ride name. Second, the ride's entrance was moved closer to the other rides in the Adventure Valley area. This is why the entrance isn't quite where you'd expect when you see where the ride station is. This is a custom SC3000 Mauer spinner. Most of Mauer spinners feature thin track with frequent but thin supports. Naga Bay is different. This coaster features much thicker track with a spine on the back and beefier supports. It's similar to what you see on Mauer's X-Car coasters. It looks really out of place for a spinning coaster of this scale, but it was done for a reason. It minimized how many supports were needed, which was critical because this ride winds its way above pathways in the park central lagoon. It's a really nice setting. It creates a lot of energy walking down the midway seeing the vehicle spinning overhead. And on ride you get some fun visuals. Compare that to most spinners that have a self-contained layout. This ride doesn't have the best capacity. Even with multiple cars on the course at once and steady dispatches, each car seats just four riders. While there are a few coasters at this park with longer waits, don't be surprised if this ride is a 20 to 30 minute wait. Riders sit in pairs facing outwards. While you don't get to see the reactions of those you ride with, I prefer this orientation because it offers superior sight lines, and that's especially nice for a ride like Naga Bay that has an interesting setting. Then you're restrained by just a T-bar. The restraint seems to come down at a weird angle for me because your seat is so low in the car, so it can get a little uncomfortable if you get stapled. Once dispatched, you head straight up the 56 foot or 17 meter tall lift hill. At the top, you get a great view of the lake, and then you essentially head into a mild helix. The first drop swoops downwards, and then you immediately twist upwards into a mid-course brake run. And this is the biggest problem with Naga Bay. There are three mid-course brake runs, and they all slow the train way down to a crawl. This really hurts the ride's pacing, but it does have one benefit, well along with capacity. Because of how sharply you're braked, the spinning actually seems to pick up here for a few seconds. In general, the ride held a pretty consistent spin throughout. The drop off the first mid-course is the highlight of the ride for me. It's the largest and steepest drop by far, and it has some good zip to it. Then the tight pullout afterwards has some nice positive G's. Next is this elongated bunny hill over the pathway. It's too drawn out to offer any airtime, but it does have good speed to it. You then head up into another mid-course. You again decelerate mightily, but you do get a boost in spinning. The next bit has no force to it, but you get some of the best visuals on the ride. You twist downwards and glide over a bunny hill next to a midway. Then you have an overbank that crosses over the pathway, and I sort of like how the train lingers for a second at the top. You then twist into the final mid-course that again slows you down. The final bit is a small downward spiral above the water, and a hop into the final brakes. Like before, you have some nice sight lines, but nothing in terms of forces. This ends the 1,411 foot, or 430 meter long coaster. I touched on the spinning and pacing, but what about the smoothness? I'm pleased to say this ride still tracks quite smoothly after a decade of operation. The only rough part is if you enter the brake run sideways. This can cause the car to be violently slammed back into alignment before it returns to the station. This is an issue in all the Mauer spinners. So what would I rate Naga Bay? I would give this coaster a 5 out of 10. It's a pretty average spinning coaster. I really like the location result in sight lines. It offers better views than most other spinners. I also like how there's no shortage of spinning. I just wish the elements you navigated were better. And a lot of that goes back to this ride's pacing. Those mid-course trims kill the ride's momentum. I imagine the elements would have quite a bit more force and oomph to them if you went through the ride uninterrupted. So those are my thoughts on Naga Bay at Bobby on Land. What do you think about this spinner? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.